Well, well, I have some news. Um, so I'm going to get straight to it, guys. Um, so today is the day after my egg retrieval. And um, I was told to make sure I drank a lot of fluids and electrolytes. So I did have my Gatorade and water and stuff. I'm um, a little bloating. Um, no pain because I didn't have that many eggs for them to um, retrieve. So I know that a lot of women say that they have had like 15 and 20 and they were really sore. But being that they only retrieved six, um, it I didn't really um, have any um, after symptoms from it. So the doctor called us and she said that um, out of the six of my eggs, only two made it. So um, either they weren't mature enough or it could be my age was a factor. She didn't really give us a pacific answer it's just that they didn't make it um to fertilization so i have two eggs that are in fertilization right now and we went from eight follicles to six follicles and this is how ivf works i've been researching educating myself watching videos being in group forums and just listening to so many women's stories about the process so I kind of knew that when they tell you you have a certain amount of numbers for your follicles your eggs that you may necessarily not end up with all of them because you know they have to um, get to fertilization and they have to be mature so I kind of knew that there's eight but potentially I, I'm not gonna have all eight so um, did I expect two mm, I didn't really have a number um, I kind of went in it just saying I'm going to accept whatever it is because um, I felt like I've done so much work to do this process. I didn't really have a number set because I didn't want to have expectations and then get so in my head and get frustrated. Like I, I didn't really want to go through that whole ordeal. So I just knew that I did everything was going to do everything that I needed to do for this process and you know I put it to God and you know pray and you know just do this doc documenting videos just to show a diary of everything that emotionally and physically that you go through and, and that's you know that's what I did so um I have two um obviously Mike is not feeling too happy and um he, he deals with things a little differently than I do. Um, um, so he is a little down because it's only two. So at least he was thinking, he was thinking that it'll stay at six or at least four. So there's only two. And um, the doctor called and said that we're probably, you know, we don't know if the two are gonna make it to fertilization to become an embryo we we don't know and she suggested you know considering doing a second cycle and um I don't think I want to do a second cycle um it's just not my focus right now I I just finished doing this whole procedure did IUI um tried naturally and did IVF and all these injections and then everything that comes with it and just um a lot I don't know if I could jump into IVF number two again. Like I was really excited that it, the process was over and that I finally made it to egg retrieval. And then I, you know, thought that it probably would work. I did think like, okay, we'll work and then have to think about it again. But um, now it's being brought up like, and it's literally hasn't even been 24 hours. So I can't even put my mind on thinking about another psycho. I don't know if I want to do another psycho. Especially, I don't have the fertility issue. It's on his side. So I, I just, something that I have to sit and think about. And um, as of right now, I am not interested in doing another cycle. Just emotionally, emotionally, physically not really interested. I just want to take a break from it and um, not um, have it consume me right now after going through all these things that I've went through. Just not um, 
head's not in it. So that is it. Um, I have to let the family know where we are with the eggs and we're just on a waiting game. So I think in about six days, I will let you know, or I don't know if they, if they don't survive, I guess I'll make another video. And if they do, I'll make another video. Uh, either way, I'll make another video. And um, thank you to everyone who prayed and left comments and all that good stuff. I really appreciate you. It was great to have support from all angles of the spectrum. And um, hopefully I have gave um, someone out there some positivity and encouragement on your IVF journey. If it's something you're considering or something that you're doing, be strong. You are a warrior. And hopefully you were inspired by my cycle. And um, best of luck.